Hi everybody, it's Rhonda from Cherry Pie Babies. Um, in the last video, I kind of brought you up to speed, um, discussing what we've done so far for baby Callie and baby Bryson. Beautiful brand new kits by Bountiful Baby. Um, brought you up to speed because some of it did not get recorded like I thought. Um, so anyway, we are doing a strawberries and cream complexion. Um, I try not to mix on camera because it wastes time. So anyway, so these are the colors that we are going to be working with. And there's going to be a lot of them. The first one is flesh. No, I'm sorry, not flesh away. Baby skin. Baby skin. And then the second one is yellow okra. And the third one is what I call a strawberries and cream pink. Those are the three colors that are going to give me that complexion that I want. And it's a beautiful complexion, by the way. <clears throat> okay. Here's the baby skin. Here's the yellow okra. And then these are the paints that I made, um, the strawberries and cream pink. I used, I don't know what it is. It's a, I don't know, it's a pink that I got from Bountiful Baby. And then crimson. You can see this one. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. So I use mostly this with a little tiny touch of crimson. our colors right there those out of the camera there all right um so anyway I've got um these sponges that I got at Dollar Tree got a package of them for only a dollar and they're very porous they're not really uh good sponges like this one this is a very dense sponge you can see that and this is a very porous sponge these are good for pouncing on and pouncing off. These are good for mottling. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, <clears throat> if you noticed, each of these bowls comes with a mixing brush. Okay comes with a in two um, each dish or each color has their own pouncing brush or I mean a mixing brush and then also each color comes with their own porous sponges one for pouncing on and one for pouncing off all right okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do flush away and I've already got it pre-mixed it's about the consistency of milk. Actually, it's probably more like skim milk. It's between skim milk and whole milk. All right? And I love these eyedropper bottles. You can get them on eBay. I love them. Also, to get inside tiny areas, I've got a little, um, what do you call it, eyeshadow applicator. I don't remember where I bought them, but I did. Hobby Lobby, I think. All right, so flesh 08. The order that you can remember is FOP. We're gonna do a layer of flesh 08, then we're gonna do a layer of yellow okra, then we're gonna do a layer of the pink, okay? In between, we're gonna bake at 250 for eight minutes, all right? So in between each layer, after each layer, we're gonna bake. All right, and then we're going to come back again and do it again. Flesh, yellow okra, and the pink. So right now we're doing the flesh. We're going to put enough in there to do two kits. I love the eyedropper because I can just drop it in or I can pour it out. This saves so much money. I'm buying thinner. 
and thyme from having to mix every single time. <clears throat> okay, so let's stir it up and check out the consistency. There you go. I think I think we achieved it. I think we achieved it. It's between whole milk and skim milk because it's right there. All right. Um, if you notice on my sponges, one, I plucked out a corner with the tweezers, okay? Because that's going to be my pouncing off sponge. This one is going to be my pouncing on sponge, all right? So the way we do that is I mix it up really good. Then I take, put this on the sponge. Okay, we'll start with baby Callie. And I just sponge all over. I avoid the lips. Oh, by the way, I also did a, just a little bit of a staining of the lips. I try to do that um, when I get my, when I do my layers, I try to just touch on the lips a little bit each time. So that way we've got a gradual buildup and it doesn't look like Baby's been playing in mama's lipstick. That would not be a good thing. Oh. I see a little fuzzy thing. I don't know how that got there. Try not to scratch the paint. Huh. All right, so we'll keep these tweezers on hand in case that happens again. These layers are very thin. There's quite a few of them. Okay, we're going to get the inside of the ears, and we're going to do it with this because we don't want to gunk up our creases, our ears, none of that. Okay, now we're going to pounce off. I know the mottling looks very pronounced. But I promise by the time we get all these complexion layers put on, that mottling is going to turn out to be much more subtle. Okay. All right. Oh. Look 
Okay guys, I'm going to do the rest off camera because I don't want this video to be too long. But I'll be coming back with a part three on the strawberries and com uh, cream complexion. So I'll see you in a little bit.